Hey friends! Today we are celebrating the fact that the paperback of my novel On Wings of Ash and Dust is finally publishing at the end of this month, January 25th. And I thought what better way to celebrate than by doing an unboxing of the proof copy that I actually filmed back in November when I got it. Okay you guys, it's here. And not only do I show you its epic cover but the full cover wrap as well as how big the book ended up being and spoiler alert, it ended up being pretty big. I'll also show you my brand new fantasy map of Phelan, which is my world of fairies in the book, and a bunch of other really cool interior details that I ended up adding, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. So let's get into it. Look what I got! Ooh, you probably can already tell from the title of this video that we're gonna do an unboxing, or I guess an unbagging, of my first ever printed novel. A lot of you guys know that my series first came out as ebooks and that the episodes in my what I was calling a serial were short enough to all fit into one ebook. If you want to learn more about serials, definitely check out the videos. I have a link down below. But this came in today. I ordered the proof copy on this past Sunday. It was supposed to come in in a week next Sunday but it came in on a Wednesday. And so I'm doing a very impromptu unbagging and usually I script my videos like crazy. I'm gonna try very hard to just be super authentic. I will say that um, whatever is in here probably won't be the final final because that's why you order a proof copy so that you can tell if anything needs to get changed before you publish it. And actually I was gonna do like a long preamble about different details about the book before you even see it, but you're probably really, really excited to just see the book and then we can talk about it as I open it. So anyway, I'm like sweating. Um, I'm kind of nervous. There's also like a rip in the bag. I'm really hoping that that doesn't mean that the book is damaged, um, but I guess we'll see. I'll just start ripping. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna see my book. I'm gonna be able to put it on my shelf. Um, I will say that it is going to have a watermark from KDP, like a band all the way across the book, which is very frustrating KDP, but we understand. Um, so just know that that's going to be that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's here. And, um, yeah, there's going to be things that, that need to change. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just get the reaction out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Um, I shouldn't cry because I have makeup on, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, you guys, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second, but I just want to take it in. Oh, it's like a real book, you guys. Okay. All right. So the cover itself is gorgeous. Um, it, it's a little darker than I wanted. So I think I might uh, see if there's a way for me to be able to brighten it up a little bit. But if, I, if you haven't seen the cover anywhere else, probably my newsletter subscribers and my patrons have seen this. Um, and I might have shown sneak peeks elsewhere. But here is the cover, you guys. Oh my gosh. Ah! It's here! Um, this is my book, On Wings of Ash and Dust. And it has all six of the episodes. Um, so if you haven't, again, heard anything about the story so far, a bunch of videos down below that explains what a serial is and why they're divided into episodes and why they were only ebooks to begin with. But um, I put them all into one novel because it was originally written as one novel and then divvied up into uh, a series. And um, this is... Oh, this is the cover and you can see um, my five main fairy uh, main characters on here, which is so exciting. We've got Quinn and Hickory and Alice and Aaron and Vale. And oh my gosh, my name. Um, I hope you guys like the font and just the arrangement. I'll show you a screenshot at some point too of what it originally looks like in Photoshop. And for some reason, when I exported it, it got a little dark. So I'm going to try to fix that. Again, this isn't scripted, so I'm going to be all over the place. But this was again designed by the wonderful Ree Barden, Hillary Barden over on Instagram. I'll link her down below. She did all of the covers for all the other episodes. And we ended up mostly so that I could save a little money uh, adapting some of the artwork from the episodes onto the cover and she did just such a beautiful job they look like they were originally like meant to be there together um, and you can see I'll show you the side so this is 
on wings of ash and dust let's see can i do yeah i can do this like a professional um so obviously it's very frustrating that that um band is right there but that's what it'll look like like on the shelf with every everybody else and this is the back and i'll just kind of show you a little bit of a zoomed in with our tagline uh five fairy clans compete for the crown one pixie pirate could ruin it all and uh the blurb right there and then at the bottom um full of action and intrigue with a unique world and fresh take on Faye, this fast paced ya fantasy adventure is perfect for fans of six of crows and the cruel prince and then the complete novel that's what this is the complete novel episodes one through six and then i even featured all of the the episodes here and oh my gosh it has a barcode and and everything i think that's not like the final final bar barcode but um it's a real book you guys and look how thick it is so let me give you some stats on this i'm like i thought i would cry i don't know maybe i'll cry later um especially seeing some of the interior because there's some really cool interior stuff that i did in here that i want to show you but i'm really excited to like tell you some details too so how big is this how long is this so the putting all the episodes together plus the front and back matter which i formatted on vellum which if you guys want me to do a video tutorial on how i used vellum i just i love the program so much it was so easy to learn and i think i'm going to be using it for every single book going forward but all together it is uh, a little over 159,000 words and um, each episode is about 30k or less and I got it down to 500 pages like exactly so if I compare it to if I compare it to a book called The Starless Sea which is about 500 pages um, I think it it looks pretty substantial I think that's nice and I decided to go with a 5.5 by 8.5 size, which is what my friend Savannah J. Goins did with her series, The Gwythinian. And um, so I really liked that size. And actually when you put it next to, I'm just gonna keep grabbing books, a smaller hard cover book, um, it's pretty much that size. So it's gonna look real nice next to those kind of books, which I love. And um, if you take like a smaller eight by five, I think this is eight by five, or maybe it's, yeah, I think this is 8x5. This is the Ginny Key, one of the books of the Stolen Kingdom series by Bethany Altizada, and um, it is a, a little bit bigger than that. So just to give you some uh, stats on how big it is, do you guys like big books and you cannot lie? <laughs> Let me know. Um, but yeah, you get a substantial story in here. And so 500 pages. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm looking at the inside. I'm freaking out. But let's actually talk about the inside because I did some pretty fun things. Um, I think, if I do say so myself. First of all, let's just let's just look at some of this because it's just so pretty. So um, we've got the cover, and then we're gonna open it up, and we see the opening title page. And uh, so that's the second title page that has my um, publishing company, Fable Song Books. And then we've got the copyright page and the dedication to my husband, and then. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. So I commissioned my friend Kara uh, from Cartographic underscore Reverie on Instagram. I'll link her down below too, um, who actually does cartography like within her job as a like a real person. And she started playing around with map making. She actually did, I'll put here, this map um, of my fantasy world after she read my book. Sort of inspired by it, but it wasn't exactly like how I pictured it in my mind. But I loved her style and everything. So I was like, Kara, um, would you, can I like commission you? Can I like work with you to make my final map? of Phelan of my fairy world and my fairy world has like three different levels so we've got the mainland which is where most of the fairies live um and there's five different clans so they all live in different parts of the world then there is the sacred vine in the mid that grows it's like a really big like kind of jack and the beanstalk kind of vine that grows from the middle of the world up into the clouds and on top of the clouds and the sacred vine is eldor where the sylphs live and then so that's level number two and then level number three is below the main world where the kobolds live underground in the tunnels where the pixie dust is mined but oh my gosh this is the map and i might again have to throw in like a screenshot or something so you can really see this but oh my gosh she did such an amazing job and maybe at some point i'll have to like do a video just walk through of the map and i was really kind of nervous that um 
some of the detailing and like important things would get lost within the crevice. I think we might have to move one thing, but besides that, everything uh, looks so cool. So Kara, if you're watching this, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys, oh my gosh, this looks awesome. Okay, so last thing, I still wanted to show the dividing episodes in the book and have some fun artwork from the original ebooks to show that. And so um, I was inspired by two different books from two different authors. First is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo and within the printed book she has the, she doesn't have episodes but she has um, different parts like part one, part two, part three in her book and she um, had a little bit of like a dark kind of a little bit of illustrated um, dividers which I really loved. Then I picked up Elise Kova's Deal with the Elf King and she doesn't have parts but in her second title page she has the front artwork in kind of grayscale a lot lighter with the title on the side and sort of taking both of those inspirations I was like I really really want to do that for the episode dividers in my book and so oh my gosh this looks so cool these are the episode dividers and I want to make sure you can see it um, but this is episode one Wings of Betrayal with Quinn on the right there and so oh my gosh that just looks so cool and so for each episode we get um, a brand new oh, this looks so cool a new page with the artwork and um, yeah it just has it for each of them and because the pages are black I don't know if you can see that but there you can see where each episode divides huh so it looks so cool and then for each episode as well, at least for right now, I also picked a little graphic that goes with each episode. So that's for episode one, we have a little pirate ship uh, for episode one and um, I won't spoil all of them just so you can um, see the different ones but I will, let's show a different one. So this is Forest of Blood episode three and for episode three we have a vine right there to signify the forest and like the sacred vine and stuff that's going to be important in that episode so it just it looks so good the formatting was just so easy to do in vellum so again if you guys want me to do a video about vellum at all let me know because it was definitely worth the money and I'm probably gonna update all of my ebook formatting uh, to match what's in here again I thought I would cry I thought I would be like super emotional I'm just really excited <laughs> I hope that's okay. Um, I'll probably, like I said before, I'll probably cry later, um, maybe when I start showing like my husband and just like really take it in that it's like here, like I'm holding my book, like these are my words. And um, it's a real book. This is crazy. So I'm sure the final question you guys are asking is when can you order this bad boy? And Editing Brittany is coming back in here to confirm with you guys that it is publishing at the end of this month, January 25th. This time around, I actually won't be having pre-orders because unfortunately KDP does not offer pre-orders for physical copies. And I really didn't want to work with Ingram Spark just because I've heard a lot of very frustrating things about working with them. But in the meantime, what you can do if you want to be alerted when the book goes live is sign up for my newsletter on my members page on my website and just make sure that you click the option that says you want my book updates. And you guys are going to want to order right away because all during release week, I'm offering a bunch of exclusive goodies just for those who order in that first week. These are going to be things like a behind the scenes guide of when you finish an episode in the book you can read a bunch of behind the scenes like what inspired certain things and what kind of things change from the first draft to the final draft. I'll have some other digital offerings like digital wallpaper of all the characters, a Spotify playlist you can listen to as you read the book and I'm also working on some physical goodies like a signed book plate that you can stick right in the book so technically you have a signed copy and maybe some printed character art maybe in the form of a bookmark or a postcard but again these will only be available to those that order in that first week. You can also add the book to your Goodreads right now, so I'll leave that link down below. And make sure you're subscribed because we're going to be doing a couple other really fun things on my channel leading up to the book's release. Anyway, thanks for watching this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys are excited to actually own a physical copy. If you've read the ebooks, you're going to have your physical copy. Or if you've been waiting for the physical copy to come out, um, it's going to be here soon. So if I forgot to say anything I will be post editing Brittany and added in at the end but for now thank you guys so much Ooh, it's real it's real <laughs>